Somebody asked you yesterday, they're like, why do you have a tattoo of Amy Winehouse on your arm? <laughs> I know. This looks nothing like Amy Winehouse. It's, um, yeah, it's Andrew Lloyd Webber actually thought it was Amy Winehouse too. This has been on my arm like two years before her record even came out. But um, if you take away this bit, yes, it doesn't look like Amy Winehouse. I don't think it does at all. I think it's because it looks like it's big hair. But these are clouds. And this is a dragon. Yeah. And then uh, it's actually a geisha. But when it's all colored in, it won't look anything like her. So it's not done yet. See, she's Asian. It doesn't look <laughs> anything like Amy Winehouse. So what won't look like when it's done? Um, well, her face will be white. You know, mm -hmm. she'll have white lips. Yeah. And, you know, this is her little, like, comb. Uh -huh. She'll have her little geisha hair. It's going to be cute. Now, is this something you have to do in pieces because it really hurts, or...? <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much. And, and you can only really sit for about... Well, I can only sit for about four hours yeah. until it just, like hurts. Okay. Definitely when they started getting in underneath the arm. Oh, yeah. It, what are you, ticklish, though? <laughs> Does it start Not tickle? really. It's really weird because you have, like, nerves all over your body. Yeah. When they start doing, like, I believe it was here. Yeah. I started feeling it in my chest. Oh, like, really? it hurt in my chest. Yeah, it's weird. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> well, is that the only one, or you have others that we just can't I see? I have lots of oh. tattoos. That's the only one we see. I have though. one in my mouth. Here. Where? Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. What does it mean? It says Ireland. When you're like 80 years old, and you have, what's going to happen to this I'm one? just going to be a really cool old lady. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't think about that when I get it. And, yeah. Um, it's just, it's part of my body, and I forget it's there half the time. So. Yeah. Now, one of the things that people, that I think your husband actually had said that he was concerned about coming to the show to watch you because he thought his yes. tattoos might turn people off. I know. And isn't that sad? that we live in this day and age. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he's just really super sweet, and he's so supportive. And um, sometimes he gets a little bit of uh, negative attention for his tattoos, but that's just who he is. He's actually, like, Mr. Romantic, and um, he's very Southern. He's a Southern boy, and, you know, he's all about, you know, holding doors open for old ladies and that kind of thing. And he's just really cute. And, and the old ladies don't, don't run the other way, though? Because I can see you old know, lady being very nervous. It's very funny. <laughs> old ladies and small kids yeah. love my husband. It's I can see the so kids funny. loving Yeah. Kids, and kids are so innocent. We'll be in, like, grocery store, and they'll be like, Mom! And they'll be like, and Mom will be all, don't point at him. <laughs> but um, kids are just so cute. Yeah. And um, we can't wait to have kids, which is going to be really cool. But... Um, Speaking of that, I know how obnoxious was it when they it was said pretty obnoxious. Pregnant. It was pretty funny, but um, I don't know. I guess I wore a dress that looked a little bit weird around my stomach, and then all of a sudden I was pregnant. But my uh, my husband actually called me. He's like, "Are you pregnant?" I'm like, "No," and he was bummed. <laughs> Aww. It was funny, yeah. That's so sweet. It was super, he was super bummed. But then I spoke about that I had my Spanx on. Yeah. Because, you know, look at the other girls in the show. They're tiny. And, you know, I'm just, I'm average size. But you're I'm small. Not, it's not like you're a big girl. No, but in comparison, I can't stand yeah, beside, well, Brooke you know, like that big. Brooke or <laughs> Christy or Saisha. They're all, you know, super bodies. Right. You know, sixth place for me, I think, is a huge achievement. It's, um, I, you know, I re remember sitting in line in the dark, you know, back in San Diego, and you're waiting to go inside, and you just don't know what's going to happen, and to get that far, the show's almost over, you know, we have actually like two weeks off, and then we go back to rehearse for the finale, all 12, and, um, and then, what, like the tour starts, the rehearsals start a week later, or two weeks later, so if I didn't get voted off before then, I wouldn't have gotten to kind of you know, spend time with my husband for like five minutes. <laughs> so it's uh that's that's really what I'm looking forward to and I would have liked to get further in the competition, obviously, but yeah. you know, I'm okay. I'm totally okay and um I I have the the utmost respect for the people that are left on the show and I wish them all the best and you know, I will be rooting for, for all of them to win. I want everybody to win. But they um they're a really cool bunch and we the only thing I will I will be sad about is that I don't get to spend, you know, the next two, three weeks with them. But that's like, yeah, we're all going to be in each other's faces for the tour, so. Yeah.